Hey and welcome along to this week's Throwback Thursday video where I'm going to teach you how to play Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Alright, so to begin, that was a little preview. Right, the story is there's only two main sections to this song. The first section is as follows. We have the verse and the chorus. So you see it on screen, and it's the bit that goes, you change your mind, da da da, like that. Now, the first thing I'll draw your attention to is the tab numbers below. We only have four different notes. We have the three, third fret here. Then with your ring finger, you get the fifth fret in the next pair. Move your ring finger up a string then for that fifth fret and finally get your index on the third fret there. So those are four different notes. So step one would be just to practice moving between them. Step two would be to practice this rhythm on screen. So you see there's eight notes per bar. One, two, three, a four. One, two, three, four, like that. So that would get you that part. Right, that would be the second step I'd take towards practicing it. Now, again, if you want the interactive tab to play along with, uh, a download should pop up right about now. And you'll get free access to my song library, which contains, geez, about, I was counting, I think there's over 60 different pieces in it at this stage. So if you want access to all that, just pop your email in above and you'll be emailed the link. Now, uh, let's get into the next part. We have PM written there. That stands for Pam Mute. And to Pam Mute, you're just gonna get your Pam and place it on the bridge until you get that sort of snap and sound. You hear it as more of that Katy Perry pop sound. Okay, if you hear this, you were gone too far. All right, so just keep an eye that you're like that. Right, so that'll be the next bit. Now at this stage, we've covered the different levels. So level one was to get the four notes. Level two was to play it without pan muting. Level three was to add in the pan muting. The fourth and final level is as follows. It isn't on screen, but you can play double the amount of notes in every bar which means you'll be picking down and up. You'll be going. All right, now, that is 16 notes per bar. I would not recommend you count 16. You will wear yourself out, my friends. <laughs> but count it like 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a 1E and a 2E and a 3E and a 4E and a, like that. All right, so that'll be the fourth level. Uh, now, the next thing is as follows. Uh, that is your verse and your chorus. So that's the you change your mind like a girl changes clothes. And then the chorus would be you're hot and you're cold. Da, 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 da. You're in and you're out, you're up. See what I mean? Now, you see the chords then written above the Pam Mutant. If you do want to play open chords, you can do the following. It would be as follows, uh, just G, D, A minor, C. And the rhythm I do is down, 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 up, down. So, then D, A minor, then C. Like that. Okay, so be up to yourself, whichever one you wish to play. Now, the next thing is we're gonna look at is the bridge. Okay, so for the bridge, we get the following. And this is the part that goes, Won't someone call a doctor? Da, 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 da. That part. Now, you notice it is very similar. We have a lot of the same stuff going on here, just with different notes. The pan muting is there. The rhythms are the same. You can double it up if you wish to do the like level four. 
like that. Alrighty, or you can play the chords. And someone, so down, 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 up, down, and G. Alrighty, now, as I was saying in this song, if you want to grab the chords and the lyrics free download, uh, you'll find the link will pop up above if you want to grab that. And that is how to play Hot and Cold by Katy Perry. Now, a question you might have is, when does the bridge happen? How many times do I play the verse and chorus? This is a really good exercise in playing a piece and using your musical skills to notice when the bridge happens. Because the danger can be, let's say, I'll make up a number, let's say if it's like 32 times, you're going to be in your head, you're going to be thinking, first time, second time, third, you're not really honed in on what's going on around you with the song. So I'd suggest to take the first part, the verse and the chorus, and play that until the bridge happens and then switch. But usually it's like after the second chorus. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Remember to subscribe if you want to keep up to date for any other Throwback Thursday lessons. Catch you soon.